Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic for another dose of Sudoku variant magic, I imagine. So, um, first of all, let me trail our new Sudoku Pad app, which is available on the links under the video. And by clicking in the icon, if you play this puzzle, for instance, in the top left corner, you will find this Sudoku Pad icon and you can click on that and uh, buy for a very small sum the ability to play classic Sudoku puzzles in our own software. And there are a dozen puzzles that we've supplied in the app as well. So all very interesting stuff. Um, and of course, all our other apps are available and so much content on Patreon. You know about that from the videos already um, and loads to do there. Sudoku hunts, a go go crossword videos. Um, and of course, we're always putting up extra stuff on the channel every now and then as well. So podcasts and the like um, set of videos, tons of stuff going on as well as our two videos a day. Now, Simon normally plays Joseph Neymar's puzzles, but I get to do this one today and I'm very pleased with that. Um, this has been recommended to us by the folks at the Discord server and, well, it's called 7ZAR or 7ZAR or some version of that. I don't know why. I doubt that I will ever plumb the depths of that meaning. But um, <clears throat> the rule set is, well... Disarmingly simple is the way to describe it. Normal Sudoku rules apply. Digits don't repeat in cages, and cages all sum to the same number to be determined by the solver. So it's a killer Sudoku, with the cages all summing to the same number, and we don't know what that is. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Thanks, Joseph, for, for virtually nothing to get us started, I imagine. But anyway, his puzzles always have some fabulous logic, so I'm sure we'll discover something along the way. Do give it a try on the link below the video. And as always, I'm going to start now. Let's get cracking. So, I figure we have to determine the number. What is the repeated cage total? Well, it applies to two... Oh, by the way, sorry. You can um, always switch off. You can hide colours. You can switch the hide colours thing to on and then this will appear without the colours. But I think they might be useful because obviously the colours have been applied to show two cell cages and three cell cages and four cell cages. And those are the sizes that this mystery number um, can be. So it's, it can't be more than 17 and it's got to be at least 10. Now, let's have a look at this box which is filled with Hmm. Those nine cells will add up to three x, whatever the let's call the sum of all these cages x. Um, and if they were fifteen, that would be the same as that because the digits one to nine. This is a secret, by the way. Add up to forty-five. And therefore, they must all appear in that box. Therefore, that box adds up to 45. Now, if the sum of x is 15, then that's 3x, that's 45. And therefore, that must be the same as that. And that's certainly possible. If they were 14, these would be 42. And... These would be 45, and that means that would be three more than this. So, it can't be nine more. So, the sum is either 13, 14, 15, 16, or 17, because of this relation. I mean, that far we can get already. Gosh, can I not do more than that? <clears throat> there must be something that is more of a help than this box. Um, I don't know. This is very tricky for me to see. Ah, oh, down here. Right, 2x has to be at least... Ah, 
That's even better, isn't it? 2x has to be at least 21. Okay, that is not actually all that helpful. How about 2x cannot be more than 35? That's no, that's no more helpful. I suppose this means we don't have a 10, but I think we've already got to that from here. This is, x is either 13, 14, 15, 16, or 17. Oh, hang on. These two cell cages. Right. If x is 14, 15, 16, or 17, then each of these two cell cages has only... Ah, oh, well, okay, x isn't 17, that's right, because you'd put 9, 8 there, and what could you possibly put there? Same for 16. Right, we've ruled two out. x is now 13, 14, or 15. And now I'm thinking about these two cell cages. And I am going to colour them. I don't know if this is the right thing to do, but I'm going to make that one purple. And that's because I know that if it's a two cell cage, if we've got 14 or 15, sorry, if it's a two fill cage, so 14 is either 6 plus 8 or 5 plus 9. And if it's a two fill cage, this has to be the other two digits from those two. And they're saying this has to be different digits from those two and from those two. Because wherever one of those points at another two cell cage, you know that they must be made up of different digits. Because if you put six and eight in there, you can't put six or eight in there. So now this is yellow. This is pointing up at this. So that's yellow. That makes this one purple. That fits fine with this. Do we know what that one is? See, it would be fabulous if we could prove that this arrangement couldn't work. And that's what I was hoping to do. Oh my goodness me. Of course. Right. I've suddenly discovered that this would be the purple version and that is because if it was the yellow version, look what happens to the two yellow digits. They're there in column three, they're there in column two. They'd have to be in here somewhere Sorry, they're there in column one. They'd have to be in here somewhere in column two. And they couldn't be because um, there'd be another digit. So X would already have been achieved and that would break. So that would be purple as well. Now, is there some problem or is there not? Oh, look, yellow would end up being in these two cells. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 up here. Look, this is an X-wing. If this was right, yellow would be in these three cells. Two of those would already add up to X, and this cage would be broken. So this whole idea has proved that we can't just have two possible fills for the two cell cages. That will not work. Therefore... Therefore, the number is 13. X is 13. It can't be more than that to make this box work. And now we know what these two digits are, and I just have to work that out. These add up to 39. That is 6 less than this. Oh, I absolutely don't know what that number is, but I do know that's 1, 2, or 3, and that's 7, 8, or 9. But... X is 13. All of these cages, all of these marked cages add up to 13. So suddenly I do know what this number is. That is a 7 with a 1, 2, 3 there. That is beautiful. That's a 1. Uh, now, that, I was just wondering where does 9 go, but maybe that's not the right question at this point. That, ah, oh, these two have to be 4, 9 and 5, 8 in some order. Um, so these two cells can't be 4, 5, 8, or 9, or 7, or 1. 
So they are from 2, 3, and 6. Now, this cage adds up to 13. They can't be 2 and 3, because we'd need a 7 there. They must, need, they must include a 6. 6, 8, 9. So it's either 6, 2, 1, 4, or 6, 3, 1, 3. That's not going to work. So it is 6, 2, 1, 4. This, I mean, what a brilliant break in. I love this idea. That can't be 2. Now... That is one or three to make up the row. Now this can still be nine, three, one, and this five, eight. In fact, one must be in this um, shape now. So that is one, three, nine. This is five, eight. This is not seven, six. So, ah, and of course, we know it's not five, eight from this same logic that it would have to end up in this. Area. So that is 9, 4, and that fixes a 9 here. Fantastic. Um, now we don't know about... Well, we know that's not 4, 9, or it fixes 4, 9 into here. So that's 5, 8, or 6, 7. The same as this, actually, because of that being 4, 9. Um, hmm. Uh, right. Now this adds up to 13. doesn't have a 9 or a 4 in. I don't think... Oh, it has a 1 in, doesn't it? 1, 1. There is a 1 in that. So the other two add up to 12. They're not 4, 8 or 9, 3. So they are 1, 5 and 7. So this is a 5. 2, 8, 6, triple there. That can't be a 2 as this two cell cage adds up to 13. Three, four, nine, triple here. Those are from two, six, and seven. What's happened to these? Why have I made those yellow? I don't know. Let's get rid of the coloring. There we go. Um, ah, there's no, does there always have to be a one in a four cell 13 cage? Yes, there does. There does have to be. So that is a one. One of those is a one. These add up to 12 without using a one or a five. Does that mean they have to be two, three, seven? No, they could be two, four, six. They definitely include a two. This is not 5, 8 because of that. So it's 6, 7, or 4, 9. Um, ah, there has to be a 1 in these blue 4 cell cages. So there it is. And again, these add up to 12, but I don't even know any number that they don't include. So I don't know. That's not a 2. Can I use this? Trouble is, it could have a one in it there. <clears throat> That's not a one. Oh, we've got a five seven pair. It's not very helpful. Um, oh, come on, come on. What else can we do now? Two, six, seven, one, two, three. We've got six and seven to place. They can't both be there. So one of six or seven is here. That's not really very helpful either. Maybe I know more about this. Sorry. This is either two, four, six or two, three, seven. Ah, in either case, that can't have a six or a seven in it. So that's a five, eight pair. This is therefore a six, seven pair. That's a four, nine pair. And now this can't be 2, 4, 6. So it is 2, 3, 7. That becomes 8. 6 there removes 6 from those. Fixes that. This is a 3, 8 pair. We know the order thanks to the 5, 8 here. 2, 3, 7, 1, 5, 8. We've got 4, 6, and 9 left to go in box 2. We've got 1, 2, 3, and 5 to place in box three. Sorry, two and five. Um, 
that can't be an 8, which is... Ah, no, I still don't know what this is, okay. Um, uniqueness suggests they won't both be 5 8 but I'm not going to use that because it would be assuming there was only one solution. I'd like to prove there is only one solution as part of solving the puzzle. One and two, right, they couldn't have had a five because of the five in here. So that fixes this seven and two pair. That fixes the seven and six pair. That doesn't fix where six goes, although it's in one of those two cells. Oh, okay. Um, one, two, three are looking up at that cell, so it's a seven. And that fixes this. That's lovely. Um, seven, one, two, three, five. So they're from four, six, eight, and nine. Now, what about these? Ah, do they have to have a nine in? Or, yes, five, if they didn't have a nine in, the highest number would be five. Five, four, three, the maximum only adds up to 12. So they have got a 9 in, and they are 931, therefore. Um, it doesn't quite finish that cage. It does give a 931 triple, so that can't be 9. So we are away again. 8 and 5 there. 58139. So we've got 4, 2, 6, and 7 to place in the rest of this box. We've got 2 and 4 to place down here. That can't be... Ah, it can't be a 4-9 cage because of that one. And because of that one, it can't be an 8-5 cage. So it's a 6-7 cage. And that becomes a 2. And that's a 4. We've got a 6-7 pair there. So, ooh, I might be able to work on that and find out what it is, but that might not be the simplest way to go. Now, these have to add up to 11. So they're 5-6 now. 7, 8 there. Oh, yes. Now this is all coming. 8 and 5. That's not a 2. The 2 is there. 1, 3 pair. So that's the 9, which wasn't where I was expecting it. I thought it would be in box 9. But almost all of these rows 4, 5, and 6 are done now, apart from this middle of the box 5 here. Now, that has fixed the 5-3 pair there, the 1-2 pair at the top, the 9-4 pair, 8 down here, we've got a 9 naked single there, 1 and 5 here, presumably this only makes up to 13 in one way, 1 and 4. That's become a 7, that's become a 6, we've got 4 there, two there. Still don't know about that 3-9 pair, but I do know about that 6-2 pair. Um, now, we've got to use this cage. Hang on, let's fix that first. So, we've got to make up another 10 without using 1, 2, and 3. So that's 4 and 6, which is very useful there. Um, we've got 6 and 9 like that. That's going to fix all of our columns 5 and 6 cages, I believe. Well, they are all fixed now anyway. So 7 and 8. And now we're just finishing off. What a brilliant puzzle. I cannot believe with that start that we're getting done in 20 minutes. And frankly, I think that just shows what a brilliant puzzle this is. Because that... I, I was lucky that I started thinking about... I, I think I could have been quicker to reduce the possibilities to 13, 14, and 15. But I was lucky that I started thinking about what if we could eliminate two fill possibilities from the two-digit cages. And that is just beautiful, how they, the positions there and the positions there have to be matched in this cage. Really elegant stuff. A absolutely everything we've come to expect from Joseph. Um, he is an absolutely fabulous constructor. And I have enjoyed that video or that puzzle immeasurably. Thank you so much for watching. I think that is an absolute brilliance and uh, really enjoyed it. Hope to see you again soon on the channel. Bye for now.